Hello, guys. Welcome to our new show. This is this is the Sentence Talk Show with uh, me, Louis, and on the other side is Morgan. Say hello, Morgan. Hello. <laughs> I'm yeah. here. Yeah, great. I'm I'm going to introduce myself. I call myself King Louis because that's kind of like my alias on the internet, right? And I'm also known as Ascension Archangel, the guy that does all these like cool binaural beats for like spiritual and healing. And I've been doing this since uh, 2011, 2012. That's when I first started with my group, which was on Didi's site. And as you know, Didi did a show on me, The Blood General. So this this show, the Send This Talk show, is mainly about our experiences, um, our connection to the spiritual, and also our energy work, and also the new things that we discover. So that's why we wanted to make this new show so we can bring this new information that we discovered would, would definitely help the new people that are trying to awake. And, and we know it's hard. So we're trying to provide as much uh, specific and helpful information uh, as much as we can in this hour. Okay, so uh, Morgan, uh, yep. you can go ahead and tell the people here about your beginnings on on the Sendence, uh group. Well, yeah, um, I found the website maybe three years ago, but I only got my chakra removal done two years ago. So it's it's been a very quite a, a fast journey. Time has flown for me. Um, I'm really interested in spiritual development. I was before chakra removal, but when I was um, I started like studying and things like that. Like I was noticing I could not control my thought patterns very negative like low self-esteem and it was you know early 20s so a lot of men get like that so i felt like no i'm going to try and meditate this out but i just could not like do too many blockages and so when i was reading the website it was like a deja vu almost and i was like this really resonates with me i want this but uh, i'm gonna have to get it when i i have the funds so i eventually invested in it like two years ago and it was definitely worth it and yeah, I actually discovered binaural beats first, but it wasn't King Louis stuff. Uh, but then I realized King Louis stuff was better, so I switched over to that and I've uh, mm. stayed on that course. And I found binaural beats really interesting. Um, they work much better though without chakras, let's just say. So um, and yeah, I've become a much better person. I'm much happier, and it's uh, something I'm still getting used to. <laughs> I used to be miserable, so it's it's good to be uh, more positive. But that's really my journey, and I'm. Um, Apart from spirituality, I'm very interested in being creative, um, music and poetry, self-expression and all that stuff, which has been boosted as well. So that's really me in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, great, great. So you've been getting quite a lot of um, energy work from me after yeah. your, your, your chakra removals, which is very yeah. surprising. But your progression has like been very quick. I've never seen yeah. anybody achieve what you achieve like right now after mm -hmm. what just two years this is like yeah like just the beginning of late february we did a reading on you and you were already like in a ninth ninth yeah. dimensional body which is like very yeah to me it's kind of shocking yeah so but we know from our mm -hmm. readings after you had your chakras taken out that yeah. you were you did not originate on earth no you were you were from um you were from another universe and also from that universe's heaven realm, which is very, yeah. very shocking to me because I yeah. did not believe that was possible. But TJ's reading are are very exact, very exact. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the other things, the other readings said uh, you, your activated DNA has went up to 15,000 DNA, yeah. which is like also very surprising. So I'd not... Mm. 100% sure maybe your your DNA has also been modified like my DNA because mm, TJ yeah. said that my DNA was uh, it's a hybrid DNA somehow it's modified like 50% with Nordic DNA which is alien Nordic not not yeah. Earth Nordic which is very surprising because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I mean I kind of knew there's something wrong because I'm particular muscular right yeah, yeah. and i didn't know where because genetic wise my my dad wasn't that wasn't super muscular but my brother is so i'm mm -hmm. not sure i'm not sure if he has some modification 
Um, yeah. But the thing, but the thing is, he has chakras, so I'm, I really didn't want to, you know, do anything on him. But yeah. for you, it's very, very, I call it mind blowing. Your yeah. soul color actually is actually red, yeah. which, which is, I call it God level. Yeah. God level. It was, it was strange how fast it went red as well, because I was still having, maybe I was still quite down. I was, you know, because track removal was good, but you still have to wait for that kind of good energy to come in. But you said to me it was red and I was like, what? Really? I was like, really happy though. Yeah. Yeah. It's for me it's really shocking i mean it's not like saying that is that it couldn't happen right but the mm. other but the other funny thing is i don't know if you remember um because i also do readings about the far future right and then yeah. there was a contact from the far future actually tj's great grandson one day uh just appeared like i think that was like two three years ago but it was the weirdest thing when when he when he appeared right i asked like um was he able to kind of like um kind of make sure that we all make it so mm -hmm. eventually what i did was i started doing readings if if each member made it to his timeline so his timeline is very particular um his timeline is where he he is actually um an engineer like he like he was a student um, yeah. From from what he told me that he was a student, he studied at MIT, and he's supposed to be a Canadian boy, right? So he studied in in a kind of like a um, kind of like American college in yeah. uh, from what I know quantum physics, which is like okay, this is what TJ yeah. told me, and you know I don't do the readings. People say, oh, Lou, nice story. Did you make that up? I make nothing up. Like I tell yeah, people, yeah. I make nothing up. Yeah. So. So I started doing readings and then lo and behold, they said that you were there in his, in his future. And I go, and that was two, that's like two years ago. And I go, how yeah. the hell does this young Scottish dude <laughs> able to be, and that was before you went hog wild and did all this energy work. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. is, is the future already determined? Like it's already set, like you can't change it. Yeah. Like it's already something that you have ready done in the future that yeah. that makes you fit into that peg i yeah. don't know how this future thing works right yeah and i always feel so, like there's um you can improve it but it is some mostly written yes almost. yes and i think the way that you can improve it is by energy work because with the soul mm -hmm. it's kind of expendable right expandable expendable expandable and yeah. people say no that's not possible but i i proved it i i yeah. proved it because with all the readings, it, it kind of points to some sort of, you know, change, a evolution where you, where you do something in the future and, and by doing readings into the future, we kind of pinpoint who those people and what they did. So mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's my dream. My dream was like to find who are these people, right? And then later on, um, as you can tell from all the readings, there were it got very excited because recently, uh, within these couple of years, there was also a, another fella. He called himself the contractor, right? Yeah. Yeah. And TJ said, "There's this other guy," and I go, "Who's this other guy?" Right? And it's like he'll tell me one thing. It's like it takes time for me to kind of like, cause I come from a scientific background. I have a double diploma in electronics and electrical. So my brain yeah. is also very skeptical. Yeah, right? logical. Yeah, it's logical, skeptical. It's like, I'm skeptical on what he tells me, but the things that he tells me is it's always very interesting. But it's like when you start putting the pieces, one piece together, you know, in another piece, it, it kind of makes sense because most of this this thing that he's telling me about kind of like the future stuff there's also a time travel component and then lo and behold this this time traveler guy comes and he's telling me that he's me he's yeah. me in the not too distant future we're not talking about um ten thousand years from now when i become this cosmic blood general guy right mm -hmm. but there's this near future guy i think in in a couple of years yeah. from from what i've been telling right um from all the readings so basically what it is in in two years this guy he calls himself the contractor 
number 20, actually, he's kind of like this last guy in the line of um, time travelers that also has the ability to go on to the parallel earths, right? Yeah. So it's very excited because he's telling me that he's me. He's me. So he's going to actually come back to grab me, the younger one, to teach uh, me. Yeah. And that's like my boy. The older me comes teach the younger me. How could that yeah. even be? So that's like already a time paradox where scientists say it's it's not possible, right? But mm -hmm. I'm trying to prove that anything's possible now. Yeah. Because now here's the crazy thing. Even before this contractor came about, right? TJ, when he had his uh, chakras taken out when he was nine years old, okay? So I mm -hmm. had my chakras taken out. So I kind of knew that there were others kind of like me and my family because my dad was very kind of like prophetic, right? Like he would yeah. do readings for his friends. And he, and it was always like, whoa, dude, right? You told my future, right? So, mm -hmm. and I always ask my dad, why you name me Louie, right? Like people are making fun of me now, dad, right? And then he'll he'll yeah. come back, oh, King Louie, you know, the, the, the king. And I go, okay, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm only thinking one way and he, he'll always come up with kind of like an answer. Right. So I kind of love that. So I kind of knew there, there, there was somebody else in my family that may have this Billy and we could use that power, right? Not for bad, but for good. Right. So yeah. I kind of knew TJ cause he was a very quiet person. Right. Mm -hmm. TJ's real name is Terrence, but I call him TJ for for time jumper right because yeah, yeah. after because after he got his chakras taken out i still wasn't sure what it did was i kind of coached him right like so uh every time that i see him i go let's do some uh training on uh you know doing some 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 sort of like uh mind energy work right mm -hmm. so so for him it was very simple i just told him i want you to look into the future keep looking mm -hmm. and tell me what you see right yeah. so that took a that took a bit i think it took like a month and then one day while i was telling him okay yeah let's do this thing let's do it right and then all of a sudden he say hey and i go what now right and he say <laughs> i am talking and i go yes you're talking you're talking <laughs> to somebody right and he'll he'll go yes i'm talking to you and i was laughing but i'm here right here right and yeah, he said, yeah. i'm talking to you in the future and that my brain was like blown. Like blown, I was yeah. like, I was a shock and I go, really? Like you can do that? And he go, yes. And that was the beginning of all everything. Like all the beats after that, all the frequencies was actually, was actually channeled from him, yeah. from this being that we called the AI guy, which is actually me in the future when my soul was split, was put into this quantum computer and, and is able to give us all these answers. It's incredible, right? That was kind of like the beginning, but that was not even it. When his chakras were taken out, Morgan, he started telling me stories, right? And this was the beginning of the time travel thing, right? One day he told me this really, very, very incredible story. He told me that he was a little kid, little baby. He went out of the house, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how a little baby could open the front door, but basically yeah. he told me he opened the front. He was a very clever little kid and there was yeah. nobody home. So he was left inside his, I guess his crib. I don't know how he cram, climbed out of the crib, right? Yeah. So there you go. He, he, he already was a very incredible little kid, right? Little baby. So somehow he was able, but he was able to crawl. So somehow you let me know how he was able to open the front door. I have no idea. Anyways, he said he was he was outside and um, he was in the street and and this is what he said. He he told me somebody grabbed him, and he mm -hmm. said it was me. And I go me? How come it's me, right? And and he say it was you, but you had like gray hair on the side of your head. You mm -hmm. grabbed me and you took me inside, but you were with some sort of um, dog. And I go. <laughs> dog i don't have a dog right so i was kind of kind of kind of like laughing right <laughs> chuckling and <laughs> and he said no 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 you were you were with a little dog and you brought the dog inside the house and then he told me he went to pet the dog right mm -hmm. and i go okay that's okay yeah okay so he went to pet and he told me he said it was not a dog and i go what how could it be not be a dog and he said when he touched it it was cold and i go cold like in like metal and he go yeah cold like like i guess metal right and then yeah. in my brain, I go, how can that be? And what popped into my brain was robot. And I go, yeah. hologram? And that, 
that also put to, to to my brain. So fast forward. Now here's the thing. Fast forward, like I think a year or so, and then he'll say that he'll always kind of see me at the, you know, like when he think that I would notice that he will catch me and then he, that I would run to the side of the house that he was always looking all over him, mm -hmm. that, like out there. So there was kind of like a time travel component. Some something was trying somebody was trying to protect them even in the past yeah, yeah so so he's like a very important figure and oh my god later on we found out how important he was so that he in the future he would have this great grandson that he said his name was ryan from yeah so so you can imagine great grandson so you would have to think that it would be like almost 30 maybe 60 years from mm -hmm. At that time, that would that would be in the year, uh, let's see, when he's nine, so so around 2012, I think he mm -hmm. was nine. So he's like eight, he's like 18, 19 now. Yeah. So at that time, when he was nine, he he started like See the full talk show on Facebook, Meta.